Good afternoon, everybody, and Happy New Year. It's my first silver of the year right here. Still in the plug. Looks like about the size of a quarter. And it's a Washington. Nineteen forty-one. Excellent. Nice to start off the year. It took me almost all year to find a quarter in 2015. So nice to start off the year with a quarter this year. All right, guys, back at it. Very next dig. Got a coin spill. There's a wheat penny, which I actually pulled a wheat penny already out of this hole. If I kept looking, the last wheat penny was a 1940-something. Um, I'm going to guess this is the same. But, as you can see right there, there's a silver. A Merc. I'm going to guess it's in the 40s. <laughs> just going to be a guess, just because everything is, seems to be in the 40s. It's 40-something. I can't see the last number yet. Sweet! Two silvers. Back at it, guys. Woohoo! Silver number three. It's also a Merc. Oh, looks like I put a little gash right on the ear. 42. Excellent. Alright, guys, back at it. Well, I just got a really ugly one. <laughs> Hunting in the woods today. Looks like it is silver. I was a little concerned about that as I started the video, but <laughs> it's good. 54 rosy. Silver number four. Awesome. All right, guys, back at it. Hey, so digging the low tones and and kind of barely make it out, but I think there's a buffalo right there. Pretty sure. So it's buffalo nickel. First buffalo of the year. It was right next to a Jefferson. Must be an old Jefferson. I didn't get a date off of it. Sweet. All right, guys, back at it. I'm hunting here in the woods and uh, just got another silver. <laughs> I didn't think it was silver at first. It was shallow. But then I looked at the back and certainly... It's a little dirty, you know, but uh, it's definitely a Merc. I'll have to clean it up here. Hard to get focusing here. Looks a little worn, so it might be an old one. Sweet. Silver number five. This is insane. All right, guys, back at it. So I just cleaned it up enough to get the date. And if I can get this to focus. It's 1918, so this is my oldest one yet. This year. <laughs> Alright guys, back at it. Well, so got a pretty good target right here. Figured I'd do a live dig. So it's a good sign in the woods. Let's see what we get. Well, it's not really live dig. I'm just going to show you the signal because I can't hold the phone. And anyways. Well, there she is. <laughs> Silver. Actually, it looks like I should say there he is. It's a Rosie. Silver number six. I can't get it to focus, sorry. Looks like a 46. All right. Back at it guys. Alright so after that six silver day I came back out here to the old park. I had this one. This one was fairly shallow. Six inches. Got a rosy. Silver number seven this year. Looks like a 49. Excellent. Off to a good start. I also got a couple other things. Silver plated fork, extra plate. You know, it was laying right on the surface. And I'm not sure if this other thing is actually made of silver or if it's just a uh, 
piece of other metal came in high like silver pretty shallow I'll clean it up when I get home and see if I can find a mark or something I'm not sure what it is all right guys back at it hey everybody so got lucky scored silver number two for the day number eight for the year another rosy looks like a 1950 uh, 56 looks like 1956 excellent all right guys uh it's good starting to get dark i'm gonna go back at it for about another 15 20 minutes and head out we'll see if i get lucky hey everybody so here's the results from my last two hunts uh got about a buck in clad got this i think it was a lipstick it looks like there's some lipstick inside of there so I think it was a lipstick container but I'm not sure what the deal is in terms of if they made these out of silver it was a high tone it's like sturdier than aluminum so I don't know what that is um, got this cool fork it's silver plate you can see on the back it says Rogers manufacturing extra plate That's kind of cool. So we got six Wheaties. I think they're all from the 40s and 50s. To get this, and let's see if I can get the angle on it. It's a 1930. Not sure if you can see it or not. I'll try to get a better picture. So my first hunt on New Year's, this is what I got. Got a 1941. Washington 1954 Rosie 1946 Rosie 1942 Merck 1944 Merck and the 1918 Merck which was pretty cool all of them I think are Philadelphia except for this 1918, which is 1918D, which I do not have in my collection. So that's going to go there. And today, those were all of my New Year's finds. So today I found a 1956 Rosie and a 1949 Rosie. Mm, both Phillies. And I do not have any 1949 Rosies in my collection, so that's going to go there too. So this is a cool hunt because I pulled off two coins that I didn't have in my collection yet. I'm pretty sure... Oh, looks like I had another one that had a mint mark. That one's a D. That was a 54D, but I have that in my collection. So pretty cool. I'm off to a good start. Eight silvers which is you know last year I think I got like 30 or something so I'm off to a much better start good luck everybody and happy hunting tonight